Greetings, it is Max so Diddly here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to view give a in your coursework. And today we're here with another delete record tutorial. So, over a year ago, I made a video on how to delete a record using Java. And this is just another way to do what I did there, just in case you want a different way of how to program it. So let's get right into it. So we have a file here called records.txt, and we have four records. ID name and age and what we're going to do is we're going to want to delete this record by searching through the file and deleting the record which has an id that matches one two three four so make sure you have these libraries imported as we're going to be needing them for this program buffer reader buffer writer file file reader file writer and print writer let's get right into it so I have set up, uh, I've got a main method here, which you will have. I have created a public static void remove record method. We're going to pass in file path. That's going to be the file path of the file we want, want to delete a record from. String remove term is going to be the ID or what we want a record to contain. So we delete it. Then we have int position of term. This is essential. This is basically remove term is going to be looking for a specific field and for that field to have a specific value. Position of term is just saying which field should we look for for the remove term. So in this case, I want it to be one as one, two, three, four is the first field of a record because uh, it's the ID and it comes before everything else in a record. So the, that's why we have it as one. If you wanted it to be the name, you'd put a 2. If you wanted it to be the age, you'd put a 3, and so on, obviously, in respect to your file structure. And string limiter is going to be what separates a record. In this case, we're going to be putting in a comma. So we've got records.txt, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and a comma. So let's get into how we code it. So firstly, we need to do int position equals position of term minus 1. Basically, we're going to be interacting with an array, and array indexing starts from zero. So we're just going to minus one off int of position term. We could in theory just pass in a zero and use this value, but this is more user friendly. So we just do this as a bit, bit of housekeeping. Now we've set up our files. So string temp file equals temp.txt. Deleting a record requires you to make a temporary file, then rename it to whatever the original file was after deleting the original file. So we give the illusion of deleting a, of, uh, deleting a record, but in reality we're writing everything we want to keep to a new file. So we do string temp file equals temp.txt. Then we create some file objects. File old file equals new file file path. We're going to be passing in this. Then we do file, new file, equals new file, temp file, we're passing in this. Creating file objects allows us to delete and rename files. So that's why we're creating one for each file involved in this thing. We also want to get a couple of strings up. So we have a string called current line. This is going to be the current line we are reading in the file. And string data is basically going to be a splitting up a line into multiple fields so we can analyze whichever one we want to properly. Now we need to do a try and a catch and do ex exception E. We need to do a try catch. It's a requirement for all Java file handling. Basically a try catch goes if an error occurs, execute what's in the catch if no error occurs when we try to write the code in the try, we just carry on like normal. The first thing we want to do inside our try is the maxo diddly typical file writing stuff. So you want to create a file writer object. File writer fw equals new file writer temp file true. What's going on here? So we're creating a file writer object. We're calling it fw. So we do new file writer. And we put in temp file because we want to write data to the temp file before we rename it to the old file name. And we put true because we don't want to overwrite the file, we want to add to the file. Put in false means we will overwrite the file, which you don't want if it's records. Then we do buffer writer and we pass in the file writer. Then we do print writer and then we pass in the buffer writer here. Print writer is going to be what's going to be doing the stuff. Print writer. We use print writer because it has some nice functionality to it. Now we do file reader 
fr equals new file reader file path. And then we do buffered reader br equals new buffered reader fr. Uh, again, you might want to change these names to actually be file reader and buffered reader. It's up to you. Name them whatever you want. Name them Jim. It can be what you want. Now we've got a bit of code here, but let's go into what it actually does. So, it's a while loop. Current line equals buffered reader or br dot read line. What does that actually do? Basically, it sets current line to the next line in the file. If the next line is not equal to nothing, then there's clearly enough of line to search in the file. So let's actually look at the record and do stuff with it and see if the field in there matches the remove term. That's what we're going to be doing. So we do data, which is referencing the array here, equals current line dot split. So basically what's going to happen is each field in the record is going to be assigned its own elements of the array. Uh, doing current line dot split and comma will automatically assign basically each thing between a comma its own element of an array. Really handy, really quick shortcut for what I show you here. Then what we want to do is if data position dot equals ignore case remove term and it's not equal to that, then it's not the record we want to delete. So we're going to write this record to the temp file because we want to keep it. If we actually encounter the record which we want to delete because the remove term is equal to the field in the position of term, we just won't write it to the temp file and that will basically delete it because we'll delete this file and then rename the temp file to whatever the old file was. And as a result, the term we want to delete is not written. And we basically loop until we have no lines left. So let's get, say current line equals br.readLine, but we've read all our lines. It'll just equal nothing, which is also null. And if it's equal to null, then we just exit the while loop. So it loops through the whole file. After that, we want to do, we want to basically flush the print writer. Then we want to close everything. So all five objects we created here, we want to close them. Why do we want to close them? Well, we want to free up memory. After that, we're just going to do the file swap. So first we do old file dot delete. Remember that old file file we originally started with? Yeah, we delete that completely. Then now we create a new file. We're going to call it dump. It can be called whatever you want, but it's temporarily because we're going to actually change the name. So we do file dump equals new file file path. Then what we do is we do new file dot rename to and dump. And that's all we do. And we have successfully deleted the record from a file. So we're going to click play. As you can see, nothing ha nothing bad happened as far as we know. By the way, it is advised you put something in here like, I don't know, an error occurred or whatever you want to put. As you can see, we are back in records.txt. And as you can see, the record starting with 1234 is no longer there because we successfully deleted the record. So guys, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. If you got a request or just want to tell me I'm awesome, you can also comment that. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. They are back now, like properly, because there's no noise, because I'm not on campus right now. So thanks guys for being a great audience. Share this with your friends if they're struggling. And yeah, thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.